Thank you. Um, uh, sorry, this is not my original voice, but this is what I've got for today. And um, another thing which is important before beginning that uh, I'm not coming from animation studies, but uh, um, so I would I would frame a little bit in another way my problem. But in a lot of um, a lot of points, it's, touch, it's, uh, it's in touch with, with uh, the problems presented by you. Uh, so. Um, <coughs> I would talk about some uh, new Hungarian animated short films, and um, uh, I would focus uh, especially on the work of uh, one of um, uh, contemporary Hungarian animators, especially. So, um, diagnosing the widely and diversely described so-called digital turn, or shift from analog to digital, or transition to digital, often warns the analyst to a more accurate and reflexive terminology that bridges the sometimes wide gap between theoretical discourses and the everyday image-making practices. As we see in many cases, the transition to digital is far from being a one-way and unproblematic smooth process ending with the final replacement of analog with digital. This process rather can be characterized by forward and backward movements, interactions, embracements and separations. And in the case of animation, the overview shows an even more complicated picture. Animation being as much a cinematic and digital technology as an art form and artistic medium, an effective approach to this complexity seems to be to develop pluralist and interdisciplinary methods and approaches to take into account the difference between celluloid and digital film experience and the platforms these technologies and techniques use. Contemporary animation practices can be described by the co coexistence of older traditional and new digital technologies, although the latter gains wider visibility being the mainstream version of animation. Um, I, I would show a diagram too which, is, um, which shows this, uh, complicated, um, uh, the complicated uh, uh, interfaces and crossovers between uh, traditional and digital animation forms and live action film. This um, uh, diagram is based on uh, Lev Manovich uh, uh, language's new media concept and reworked a little bit and actualized by Paul Wells in 2012, as you see. Uh, so, um, um, the popularity of 3D animation features by Pixar and DreamWorks trained the eyes of audiences of different ages to become familiar with the 100% digitally constructed worlds inhabited with computer-generated and animated creatures and digital textures. At the same time, little or bigger studios like Leica or Aardman around the world are still working with traditional materials, paper, textile, sand, organic textures, stop-motion technology, producing puppet or clay animation using digital technology only for capturing and or sometimes computer work for a final refinement in post-production. As two concomitant symptoms of digital practices in animation and live action cinematography equally appears the visual practice of hybridity and in imitation and, and mimicry. By hybridity, I refer to widely used different composite processes of blending and mixing filmed and computer-generated images and textures, producing sometimes hardly classifiable crossovers with visible or invisible sutures of indexical and manipulated image sections. Imitation mimicry is a special case of hybridity generated by the capacity of digital to imitate any kind of non-digital image, material, texture or technology, for example the wear and tear erosion effects of celluloid grains of video image and so on. This idea is described standing on different theoretical background by Philip Rosen's digital mimicry concept or as a special case of Bolter and Grassin's remediation concept or by Laura Marx analog nostalgia, referring to the analog inscriptions within digital media in a more or less self-reflexive manner. As analog digital visual practices, both hybridity and imitation are strong, strongly connected to sensual image qualities, 
and the heightened sense of materiality of filmic textures that accompanied the emergence of digital technologies. They raised the sometimes unanswerable questions of is this synthetic or organic, is this simulated or indexical, and sharpened the perception of these images, mobilizing a sensual consciousness of the viewer. It is, however, interesting the fact that the um, um, parallel, uh, apparently ascending animation studies in the context of pervasive computer animation found an important issue in theoretization of animated indexicality. Writing about the digital turn in animation, for example, Alice Crawford found that the main change lies the transition from handmade to partially or totally digital processes. I quote, however wide the variety of media employed, each frame of animation was given visual form by reference to a physically existing image of some sort. Furthermore, in the past, any animation was the result of capturing these handmade images in the analog media or film or later video. Um, even David Radovic, in his melancholic The Virtual Life of Film, highlights that regardless of the imaginative uses and spatial plasticity, I quote, animations obviously have a strong indexical quality. Simply speaking, each photographed frame records an event and its result in the succession of hand-drawn images. Here, as in all other cases, the camera records and documents a past process that took place in the physical world in front of the camera. To reflect on these questions in a more concrete manner, in the following, I would like to focus on the work of a um, Hungarian animator who gradually began to incorporate digital technologies in his initially analog mode of production. Uh, computer, uh, contemporary Hungarian animation can be characterized by coexistence of traditional technologies and computer animation. Uh, we can mention different examples of playing reflexively with the reality, indexicality and simulatedness of materials and textures of the students' work of, uh, from Moholina University of Art and Design, MOME, that have recently been making rapid inroads in the festival scene like Peter Watt's famous rabbit and deer, uh, that uh, first seems to be a 2D drawing animation about two friends, then turning its own rules upside down, the drawing becomes cut out paper and one of the characters leaves the two-dimensionality of paper and passes to a 3D world. In Rushko Laszlo's paper world, as another example, we can see the digital remediation of origami paper figures fluidly moving in a simulated photorealistic mise-en-scene. Um, the reason why I focus only on the works of one animator, Laszlo Chaki, is that as a graphic designer and multimedia artist, he feels equally comfortable creating live-action films, expressively um, il illustrate the different stages in integration of digital technologies, always maintaining in some degree the original indexical and sensual materiality of objects, organic textures, the handmade quality of his own animation, at the same time framing them digitally in the form of an analog digital remediation game. Chucky's base and trademark-like technique was a black and white choke animation. I would like to show, while I'm speaking, some um, a clip of uh, one of his films. We don't need the uh, sound. I can, I can uh, go on. You can just watch the watch the uh, pictures. So uh, um, this um, the technique of choke animation is characterized by um, a, a very cheap, simple, and effortlessly modifiable drawing tool that can easily be used in solo work. Chucky declares that he was first attracted by this um, minimalistic, strong, contrasting effect. The white choke lines on a black backboard background embody a negative version of classic white paper black line base of handwriting and drawing. Beside that, choke's specialty lies in its encoded ephemerality. Um, can I just uh, uh, turn on that sound too, somehow? Okay, thanks. So chalk, looking like a huge pencil lead without a wooden frame, molders and vanishes gradually during the working process, partly being transformed into lines and traces on the blackboard and partly disintegrating into white limestone dust 
that pervasively subsides on the skin folds of the artist's hand and is at the same time gradually inhaled by him during working process. Working with chalk supposes a more intensive direct contact and tactility between the material and the animator. Unlike drawing on paper, the background here cannot be constantly replaced or resupplied. The blackboard has a constant frame, a single surface, and thus is the one and only space for drawing. The finished image has to be documented, photographed or filmed, and then wiped and deleted to make place for the new one. The creator is the erasure and the destroyer and the documenter at the same time. Developed from 2003, Chucky has made his first two animation shorts with this technique, days that were filled by Sense of Fear in 2003 and Webs, Geese and Peer Tree in 2004. Uh, Days is a classic love triangle story in the style of the film noir about Olga the young and beautiful wife of an ultra-rich mafioso who tries to escape with Pedro, his husband's right hand, and their surreal adventure end in a car crash and finally they both are punished by the cheated husband in a special way. And that's, uh, that the film that you see is uh, West uh, Geese and Peer Tree is a remembran remembrance, a childhood memory about the grandma and his help Jack who delivered grandma's homemade whiskey during the prohibition times. And this Jack endures two accidents near grandma's house and the film tells the story simply of, of these two uh, accidents. Oh, I'm going back. Here, thank you. Um, both short films are, uh, were filmed on three, uh, 35 millimeters uh, celluloid preserve uh, not only the long ago deleted drawings, these films, but also the traces and marks of the animatedness of the objects and characters, their body movements and face gestures. You probably noticed when watching the film that Chucky deliberately maintains the visible mark, marks of earlier lines, um, the indexicality of their previously vibed and bygone places. It is uh, especially uh, watchable or, or seeable on those um, parts of the face when the characters are talking and hands moving. There you see around these uh, past lines or the vibed place of the past, li past lines. As an artisanal faithfulness to its material, the blurred and smudged chalk is preserved as a haptic mark of the animator's hand touch, the circle of drawing, wiping and redrawing, in short, animating. These traces of the working process are maintained even later in the award-winning My Name is Buffer Bings in 2012 that was submitted for the first time to a digital post-production process. For the adaptation of Ambrose Burr's short story, a darkly humorous thriller telling the contemporary version of a timeless tale of greed and obsession, Chucky created an ageless... Um, uh, I'm going to show you this word. Uh, yeah, you, you see here the, the smudge lines. And uh, I'm going to uh, show the um, um, first minutes of this Buffer Bings. My name is Buffer Bings. Because um, um, uh, Chucky here created an ageless mise-en-scene that could be imagined as an American small town in the 50s, but bear the sinister spirit of an East European factory too. Traditional choke animation technique here is upgraded with 3D digital modeling, preserving the original hand-drawn choke textures of Chucky, for whom it was a total revelation, experiencing the analog film becoming digitally enriched up, as he himself describes. I hadn't believed my eyes. The guys from Umbrella Studio could show me things I would never be able to realize on the blackboard, as I am simply not able to draw on a three or two meters blackboards a long shot frame by frame in a way to suggest a crane camera movement upward or, or downward. Although I was always dreaming about to be more filmic. And here uh, you can see in the first, um, even in the first shots of, of the film, this um, difference between the older, um, yeah, older um, films and this new one, as the space is uh, becoming opened up and really three-dimensional, uh, uh, three-dimensional, as the buildings appear, and uh, uh, a virtual camera movement uh, can be seen in the in the streets uh, and the difference between the uh, foreground and background. Uh, the fluidity, the fluidly moving virtual camera opens up the originally two-dimensional space. Buffer beings in this way is not only mixing recent analog 
and uh, digital technology, but uh, it's as a as a special special interesting way. So he's not only mixing these two techniques, but it is an extension of a century-old animation technique. Chakli, namely, was inspired by one of the earliest Hungarian animators, Marcel Vertes, who uh, was filmed while drawing short, humorous chalk sketches on a blackboard for early newsreels in the uh, 1910s uh, in, in a metaleptic style of the uh, other early animators like Stuart Blackton and uh, some other guys. So, uh, um, he is uh, um, declaring that was inspired but, uh, by um, this uh, Hungarian animator. Uh, while his, um, by Chuck, his pre-digital animations have bear the tactile reality, a sensuality of the used material with the application of digital tools, this indexical sensuality seems to remove to another layer of his works. The sensual recalling of past through everyday objects and remembrance to past stories, strengthening a nostalgic attitude for the analog age. Chucky's animations, after his digital turn, are mixing in more sophisticated ways objects, organic textures, and the digital tools. In his applied animation for recent music videos of popular Hungarian hits like Sunwalk and Payday, Chalk animation is detached from its original materiality and indexicality, still hand-drawn, but with the help of TV paint software appearing on a digital interface. In these college-like animations, Chucky mixes hand-drawn uh, graphic letters with object animation, pixelation, and college. In these multi-layered compositions, um, Uh, in his matter for object animation, he often uses um, um, half wood free, recognizably rough texture, paper backgrounds, topped with hand drawn pictures or letters. Between these uh, photograph uh, objects, we find some retro objects like alphabet pasta of a typical component um, of sugar sweet tomato soup in school and nursery canteen menus, obsolete audio and uh, video. Uh, cassettes, um, um, old style razor and shaving brush, neckties with patterns recalling 70s and 80s. Uh, and in other cases, his images are not colleges of object photographs and hand drawings, but completely hand drawn, remediated versions of official prints like checks, bills, or even Hungarian uh, uh, part of even Hungarian banknotes. Uh, at the same time, Chucky uh, gradually arrives to the mixed genre of animated documentary. After some uh, live documentaries like Eger Salok and Tin City in earlier years, he finally decides to make documentary animation instead of live action feature from his story of the recent past famous train ticket forgery. Blue Pelican is the name of the indigo paper and at the same time the title of his short animation documentary in progress based on the recollection of three main characters about faking international train tickets between 80s and early 2000s in Hungary. As a... Can I say two more? Yeah, yeah, okay. Uh, I'm, 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 um, as a lighter form of forgery, unconsciously fake tickets uh, mean for a whole generation of young adults the opportunity of cheap uh, travel abroad. The falsification project was built on the discovery that the car carbon papered handwriting on international train tickets is easily removable to, uh, remo well, with the help of simple household cleaners like uh, Domestos, Hippo and Ultra and so on, and um, uh, lemon juice. And the blank tickets after drying and pressing becomes rewritable to any desired destination. In this way, Blue Pelican is itself a story based on a hand-drawn operation very similar to the work of animator or even the process of choke animation and is the first own story inspired by Chucky's personal experience and memories, not an adaptation like the earlier ones. Although visually he uses almost totally digitized hand-drawn animation, but the original sound recording, the voices of the witnesses and participants, guarantees the shifted indexicality of the story. 
And um, I will mention only uh, as a last example one of his um, last works, um, which I'm showing um, again uh, until I'm, I'm talking about it. It's again a, um, just a part of it, kind of commercial. Uh, for, uh, it's a promo video uh, for Index Online Hungarian News Portal. The title is Love, Hate or Follow. Um, Chucky arrives at a turning point in playing, mixing, compositing and mediating analog digital references. What we see here, stop motion, object animation, various textures and layers of papers, stickers, adhesive tapes, paper clips, plastic letters and other materials are used for complete imitation of the digital interface of a multimedia web page. Dozens of still photographs create, for example, the impression of an embedded video uh, in the, in the uh, image, as you see exactly here, uh, um, made by uh, stop-motion technology for paper photographs. Um, um, yes, the cursor is a little paper arrow moved on a black stick. Drop-down menu appears as an unfolding paper ball. And here, with the tools offered by the traditional animation, and digital post-production, Chucky produces a reversed kind of remediation, imitating with traditional analog tools and techniques an originally digital media the web page and challenging perception of the viewers and users mostly familiar with the fluidity and quickness, fast changes on graphic user interface and who are now facing the analog roughness, ragged movements of pixelated objects, paper and photographs. Um, to conclude, I uh, would just sum up these, all these. So I would say that um, a Chucky who has an initial interest and attraction to older technologies like Super 8 filming and choke animation, in both of his pre-digital and later partly digitally animated works, maintains his animation's sensual qualities rooted in the accentuation of indexical qualities of the materials used by playing simultaneously with old and new technologies, mixing, mediating, remediating them reflexively back and forward, he is self-consciously and creatively bridging the gap between the analog and digital technologies. Thank you.